Yeah, hi. Alrighty, folks, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your late night Smack the Live review. Oh, look, I missed uh, this show too. I missed fucking SmackDown Live. So, not only I missed Raw last night, I missed SmackDown. And I couldn't be any more happier, especially looking at the fucking results. Um, yeah. Um, you can see why I missed it. Actually, I got some paint. I was doing some work stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm very fucking tired too. It's actually 2 in the morning or something, because I. I was gonna do this review earlier when I came home, but I'm tired. So, yeah, let's get this shit over with, shall we? Let me wake myself up, though. Know, like, you know, hey, grab yourself a wine glass. This is good stuff. Hey, I'm telling tell you, motherfucker. And by the way, let me tell you, motherfucker, this is actually a true story today. Like, I was craving some Coca Cola, you know? If you need, if you, when you need your Coca Cola, let me tell you, motherfucker, something. Get your fucking Coca Cola, buy it from somebody's house. I like buy it, and you take it to somebody's house, and you fucking drink that shit. All right, you gotta do that shit. Don't fucking like Captain Bay drink fucking goddamn water. If Coca Cola is going dry, you motherfuckers, then you gotta drink that shit. Cause guess what, Coca Cola is my fucking fine wine. I need that shit. I need to drink it up, and I need to keep moving. With that, my Coca Cola. That's how I fucking move. That's how I fucking live. I live by the Coca Cola. Y'all just gotta do this shit. It's good stuff, man. Alright? Y'all live, y'all, with your smokes, right? Your fucking alcohol and shit. I live my Coca Cola. Oh, your Coca Cola, good for you. Oh, you're sort of like, you know, like, fuck those fucking people, man. Fuck them. You know, they complain about, yeah, the, yeah, those motherfuckers be fucking smoking and shit. I, they be drinking up fucking bullshit. I'm gonna be drinking this like how I, I could, man. This shit is better than fucking all that crap, man. Shit, straight up, man. Alright, drink your fucking Coca-Cola and fuck these motherfuckers. Because for God's sakes, they ain't adding up to society. For fuck's sakes, they be fucking influencing people to do dumb shit. This ain't even real dumb. For God's sakes. This is goddamn more safer than goddamn smoking and drinking and fucking doing drug and shit, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all kids better not do some kids. You know, it's not good for the children. It's a nice shit. It's not, you gotta end these kids. Like, for God's sakes, rather fucking drink this shit than fucking goddamn coke and fucking smoking and shit, man. Shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh man, I don't see any froth. Cause like, I guess this is not good. Probably lost all the flavor. Uh, let me see. Let me taste it. It's drinkable. It's just sweet, kind of, kind of liquid, you know. But whatever, fuck it. We are we working with this shit, man. We working. We gotta do what we gotta do. Well, I'm fucking tired. Okay. Let's look what the damage is, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? All right. The show starts apparently with fucking Randy Orton cutting a promo saying that Kofi King is stupid. Well, if anything, this show is stupid. I would have to say. Like, seriously, no one's gonna fuck these motherfuckers to be by couch, you know? And they ain't gonna make them go, oh shit, oh shit. You know, they, that's why they're fucking stupid. This show ain't gonna make fucking bitch to fucking be by couch, you know? Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, this is the reference because, like, fucking the whole fucking, you know, Kofi botch or something. Oh, it's a motor of Kofi! It's great, they're, they're using that f the idea of Orton held down Kofi. Guess what, no one ever fucking, if, even if that's true, no one fucking cares about fucking Kofi. And if you fucking pretend that you guys care about Kofi, you are fucking lying to yourself. You all can go fuck yourselves for fuck's sake. Alright, for God's sake, none of y'all care about fucking Kofi back then. So don't give me that fucking bullshit that you guys care about Kofi. And y'all now just living a bay way. And now you see fucking smarts are turning her back and cold. But let me fucking tell you fuckers this. If people are fucking are saying, like, you know, like, if for all the people that actually, like, naturally didn't even care about Kofi, didn't buy this Kofi tripe, you know? And then, they're, and then the, the argument by Kofi fanboys for some reason, they're saying, like, I bet, I bet Kofi doesn't care. Oh, you're just a hater. Yeah, yeah you guys are the worst kind of fans. 
like defending these motherfuckers. Like yet yeah, no, none of these mo yet the fucking wrestlers don't even care about you too. Oh, they're not. You uh, at least they're living off. You're talking about them. who fucking cares? Shut the fuck up. Why are you defending all these fucking wrestlers? Like act like you care. For fuck's sakes. And like uh, apparently these are fucked the fucking fanboys. Like, if you literally take offense of all these fucking fans that fucking criticize a fucking wrestler, seriously, take a fucking goddamn dildo and shove it like your fucking poopy hole. To the point that you fucking jackly yourself. To the point that you can't fucking be conscious. Okay, for fuck's sake, you are a fucking goddamn delusion, fucking retardants. That's what the <laughs> retardants or like retards for straight up down left motherfucking right. All right, for God's sakes, man. Y'all are just straight up stupid. That's what it is. That's what this show is. Straight up fucking stupid. Uh, oh look, the first match on Gelati defeated, yeah, the fucking boyfriend of fucking Jer Jeffrey Epstein. Because Charles Jeffrey Epstein, get it, motherfuckers? Uh, defeat a pal of Cre uh, Creed or something. I don't care to advance in the fucking next round. Only the flying fuck, alright? If anything, I'll just fuck her, uh, fuck it, what's her name? Fucking it, Zelaya Vega and that big black cat's big gross shit, no oh shit. I feel bad for Zelaya Vega, she just wants some fucking goddamn juicy fucking penis. And if she ain't gonna get it, she just fucking trying to, I don't know, wait for fucking Andrade, yet fucking this, this motherfucker rather be sucking on some angina. You know, it's not good stuff, motherfuckers. Yeah, Brian and Rowan have the person responsible for Roman Reigns' attack. Oh my, I wonder who that will be, right, ladies and gentlemen? Then speaking of fucking Jeffrey Epson, we got you got Jeffrey Epson. This fucking Charlotte's on the fucking moment of police. Oh fuck, Alexa, maybe black couch and make her go, oh shit, oh shit. I do see a picture here. She looks, she looks mighty fine. Uh, but yeah, fucking Ric Flair Jr. is disgusting. And then, oh, she's talking about Bailey. And then fucking we get Jay Leno coming out again. Why not just just fucking have your shitty ass match in a fucking Jay Leno's garage. That's what you guys can fucking do for fuck's sakes. And go fuck off, for God's sakes. All right, fuck off. Fuck with your fucking women's revolution crap. Fuck with your fucking women's revolution showcase mode for 32K20. By the way, for an update on fucking 2K20. I must agree, like, I know fucking, you know, you're gonna probably buy it anyway. Like, actually I have to now, <laughs> because for God's sake, my brother wants the fucking game, and I'm actually gonna get it just for him. So there you go. But the thing is, it doesn't even look like a fucking good game. Like, holy shit. It's just a fucking up, like, but I don't fucking know what to say. I don't need more, because he's like, oh, are you gonna get the new wrestling game? But like, I said no, but like, oh, why not? I don't care. Uh, the third match, ladies and gentlemen. This is just fucking retarded. Buddy, Buddy Murphy. Yes, Buddy Murphy. This is like his second time on the fucking show. Defeated Daniel Bryan, who's a fucking former WWE champion and was like a fucking former Super Cena. I'm not making this shit up. First of all, this guy looks too this guy's from NXT. He's from NXT. This guy has done fuck all. And also, we're supposed to pretend to care about this guy just because fucking got that the fucking fat ass Stone Cold Kevin Owens crap that he mentioned his Buddy Murphy for some fucking reason. This guy doesn't even have any fucking goddamn character. All this guy is his name is fucking Buddy Murphy. How the fuck are we gonna give a fuck about this guy named Buddy? He has Buddy in his fucking name. Oh, Buddy. Buddy Murphy. Like, fuck off! And his last name is, like, for God's sake, he was before known as fucking Murphy. Oh, yeah, I remember Blake, Blake and Blake and Murphy, yeah, like, fuck off! And we're supposed to be tend to care about this guy? And, like, the only reason why people smart actually care about this guy or fucking, like, pretend to care, and anybody even knows who the fuck this guy is because this guy was getting cucked by Electra Bliss. Apparently he has a little fucking tiny dick. Alright, oh, yeah. And yeah, fucking he was engaged, but then fucking he got cucked by Alexa Bliss. Holy shit. Yeah, like we're supposed to fucking care about fucking Blake Buddy Murphy or something. I don't fucking care. Are you fucking for real? Buddy Murphy stinks. Alright, for fuck's sakes. This guy has no actual character at all. 
This guy is, is, doesn't even, who cares? Oh, whoop the you all. Him and Mustafa Ali, that fucking stupid 2-5 live match that people are telling the fucking care because of a fucking, just a stupid spot. Oh, he, he jumped off the steps to Buddy. Or fucking Buddy did that. I don't fucking, who cares? No one fucking watched that match. No one fucking cares. No one cares about 2-5 live. Oh, you sure it's the wrestling matters. Who cares? Wrestling, wrestling's not supposed to be about fucking goddamn wrestling. It's supposed to be about characters and stories. There's nothing memorable or nothing to care about this guy. Oh, just cause Reigns gave him the rub. Well, guess what? Fuck Reigns for that, for God's sakes. Giving him the fucking rub and the fact that he had some pseudo epic match on SmackDown last week. No one even fucking cares. An actual wrestling fan with an actual brain muscle wouldn't even fucking pretend to care about that shit. Even if it was a fucking Reigns match. I don't hate Reigns. Yes, he's the best. He's the anti. But the thing is, he's not even a good example of a fucking top wrestler. Holy shit. He's fucking part of the fucking bad shit too with wrestling nowadays. So don't give me this bullshit about fucking Reigns. Yes, he's horrible. He's more better than all these fucking wrestlers. Fuck. He is so much better than Rollins. And apparently people are realizing that now. Even Sparks. And Sparks are realizing that, realizing that fucking Rollins is actually not this great of a wrestler for fuck's sake. Gee, I wonder why. But the thing is, like, these are the same motherfuckers that fucking wanted Kofi as champion. They wanted Raw as a champion. Look, guess what? They're complaining now they're fucking both as champions. So why am I not surprised what these sparks think? For God's sakes, Rollins was never fucking... The only reason why... The thing is, the only reason why fucking ever... Ambrose, Rollins, and Reigns were good because of the fucking shield. That's it. Because we're actually fucking badasses. Now we're gonna... Now we're getting fucking Raw as, like... The fucking car, I'm like, Bernie Dale, Bernie Dale, and fucking Reigns is like, I'm just, I'm done gonna beat you up. I'm some old. I'm done gonna beat you up. It's a nation. And then fucking, uh, yeah, I done overcame the odds from Kansas. Don't see the same before Kansas, it's a nation. And then fucking, yeah, because uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, he, he helped, he helped heal with his ass. I don't know, I guess fucking Cena, because, you know, they're, like, mature. They fucking, he fucking stepped up, like, up his rack, man, fucking sucked the penis off that fucking goddamn <laughs> his penis and fucking peed it out himself in the fucking toilet. That's what he probably did. That's what he did with the fucking cancer nation. And fucking goddamn Ambrose is just a like lost cause, I guess. He's just you know, doing stupid fucking indie bullshit now in AEW. I don't know, like, I don't, it's not the worst thing. John Moxley, Dean Ambrose, it's okay. He's alright. In terms of AEW shit, like, I like him because, yeah, because he was in W. Yes, I admit it. But for fuck's sakes, for God's sakes, like, the only reason why he ever was ever cool it was not because of John Moxley from CCW or whatever the fuck. It was because of fucking Dean Ambrose in the Shield. That's why, motherfuckers. Because he was actually is a fucking bass. He wasn't a fucking cornball. He wasn't a fuck, some fucking goddamn retard. And all this fucking bullshit. <sighs> and then fucking Bernie Murphy gets attacked by Rowan and Dane and Brian backstage. This is just fucking retarded. Like, what the fuck? Why are we supposed to pretend to care about Buddy Murphy? Holy shit, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this company. And then fucking the fourth match, the Revival defeat Heavy Machinery, no one care, and they fucking challenge the fucking for some SmackDown tag title crap. Or they just fucking wrong. Holy shit, just end the brain split. Can we just have fucking one tiles for everything? One tag titles? One fucking... Like, fucking god damn it, and they're doing another brain split? Give me a break, fuck this. For god's sakes, please. End this fucking brain split. For God's sake, you should have just had fucking the two tiles on the line at uh, fucking goddamn SummerSlam. You should have just had to... God damn it, you had the build-up. You were hyping up Lesnar. Oh, who's going to choose? Rollins or Kofi? You should have fucking did this thing where you have a triple threat at fucking SummerSlam. Where it's fucking winner take all bullshit. And you could have end the fucking brand split. You could have further it down fucking... You know, one tag title... You can keep the U.S. title and the Intercontinental title, sure. They're good mid-card titles. You can keep the fucking 24-7 title, if only you can make that a hardcore title. Fuck this goddamn women's tag title crap, but if you really want this women's equality crap, fuck it. Just fucking put on hot women, 
one women's title for fuck's sake, and yeah, one world title, and fucking that's it. That's it. Don't give me this fuck. Oh, oh, you shot the women's of the color. Like, no, man, fuck off. Oh, you shot the women's woman of the queen of the ring. Fuck off, that with that too. Holy shit. So bad enough, we have this gate king of the ring crap. Fuck this, okay? <sighs> I, I look, uh, fucking. Well, uh, apparently, Chad Gable is now Shorty G or something. I don't fucking know. It's just fucking, ex yeah, I guess because he's no longer in the closet or something. He's no longer gay. He's a bisexual or something. I don't fucking know. Um, he, he, this guy made fun of for his stupid hype. I don't give a fuck. And then fucking it, by Shelton Benjamin. Like, I don't care. Uh, Nakamura. Oh, yeah. Uh, apparently, Miss Taibei, the special guest, Sami Zayn, with Nakamura. And then apparently, they're they form a partnership? What the fuck am I seeing? What the fuck is this? This is gay. Holy shit. In the main event, go oh look. Elias defeats Stone Cold Kevin Owens. So we're supposed to believe that this guy is supposed to be the, you know, big time star. He's supposed to be the, one of the main guys. And he's losing the fucking Elias. Who can't beat anybody, you know? Wow. Yay. This guy's Stone Cold, guys. He's the next Stone Cold. He's the one of stutter, guys. He's cutting fucking edgy promos, guys. This is just, if any, this is all fake edgy shit. And speaking of fucking fake edgy shit and fucking, not just that, it's also misleading fucking bullshit. It's just like TNA fucking tripe. I would literally go on and fucking say that this is just like TNA tripe for fuck's sakes. And it is! For God's sake, get Buddy Murphy defeating former world champion. That's like the uh, day. DJ Z defeating fucking goddamn, what's his name? Fucking, I don't know, fucking goddamn Bobby Lashley or something. You can argue that fucking, it's like fucking DJ Z defeating fucking Eddie Edwards for God's own too. But it's like, except Daniel Bryan's a way better wrestler than fucking, not, he's a better fucking wrestler character than fucking Eddie Edwards or something. Speaking of, yeah, so TNA tribe, we got, oh! We don't really have, uh, we have somebody who looks like Rowan as the fucking mystery attacker. Oh, wow. But in reality, maybe this is a clue that, oh, oh, it's Rowan after all. It's, uh, it's great storyline, guys. We're gonna, it's a great, I love, oh my, and then you got Sparks and pretend like, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is, this is about to get interesting, guys. This is about to get interesting. People were thinking it was Harper and what the, whatever the fuck, I don't care. Um, oh yeah, they're like, they're, it's genius. Yeah, but like, it may, then it, you, you literally end the show right after just revealing some fucking goddamn fa fucking fag, like for God's sake, who cares? Like, really? Yeah, this was basically the time you were hyping that, oh, we're gonna see, no, it's a tacker. So it's literally misleading fucking false advertisement crap. Thanks a lot. This is like literally TNA bullshit. Holy fuck. If anything, if you were going to do this as a main event, it would make more sense, like, let's say, like, Roman Reigns was, like, around, and he attacked everybody. It would make more sense, like, kind of, like, more badass, and people wouldn't be, wouldn't be really fucking angry. That's was literally the fucking finish. It would just be fucking show some fucking Roman lookalike. Oh, yeah, like, f are you fucking for real? Anyways, I don't care. Fuck this show. Holy shit. I'm just keeping real, motherfuckers. It's just TNA fucking tripe bullshit. It's literally fucking goddamn TNA type shit. Fucking goddamn stupid shit, really. It is. And, yeah, it's straight up fucking stupid. That's what it is. This show is straight up fucking stupid. Fuck goddamn Bunny Murphy. Yeah, buddy? Buddy, fuck off. Fucking, he... That's what... He takes fucking giant dicks up the ass from his other buddies. That's what his fucking name Buddy Murphy for. And fucking... You know, it's a good thing probably Alexa Bliss cucked him. Holy shit, because he probably sucking on that fucking black dicks, man. Not good stuff. All the fucking 69 dicks up the ass. He love that ass. He want that ass. Want to get him fucking straight up up the ass, man. Shit. But I don't know. Fucking only fucking black dicks and fucking goddamn Finn Balor's or something. I don't know. He gon' gay, man. He's go He gay. Everybody's gay in the show. They're all straight up gay. They're all straight up garbage. Straight up trash. Straight up stupid. 
I'm just keeping real, motherfuckers. I got the e muscles. Gotta be yeah. Gotta be by count the fuck you, bitch, motherfucker. Catch her. Doing so white guy so magnificent. Yeah, motherfuckers. That's all I done gotta say. Until next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.